I don't normally do this, but please don't scroll. Please, God, don't scroll. If you know a doctor or a neuro or somebody somewhere that can help my family, please, please, God. My brother is a paraplegic. Recently, he's developed something. The doctors have no idea what it is. The pain that he experiences is so severe that he starts jerking uncontrollably. And when the neuro came in, he said, that amount of drugs could kill a large animal. And my brother was still screaming for somebody to kill him. I'm Dr. Betsy Grunch, a neurosurgeon, and I normally don't reply to videos like this, but I felt compelled to reply to this one because I've gone through this same situation with my own mom. I want to first disclose that I don't know anything about this patient. I am not able to make a diagnosis over the internet but I want to bring awareness to something called central pain syndrome. Not only am I a board certified neurosurgeon, but my mom was a quadriplegic and suffered a spinal cord injury over 30 years ago. We've been through hell and back trying to learn all the different things that can happen in people with spinal cord injury. I'm going to be quite honest. Even people in the medical field can't give us answers about some of the things that she goes through. After injury to the spinal cord, patients can experience something called central pain syndrome. It's caused by damage to the central nervous system, AKA the spinal cord itself. And it can also happen with certain injuries in particular parts of the brain. It often presents as an intense, burning, stabbing, electrical shock-like sensation in your limbs, arms, and legs. And guess what? People that are paralyzed can't normally feel their arms or legs. They can't necessarily feel you touching them, but they feel an intense, deep, undescribable pain. And it can happen completely out of the blue, unprovoked. Well, how does it happen? After spinal cord injury, the ascending sensory tracts, aka the spinothalamic tract within the spinal cord itself gets disrupted. Those are little pathways that when you feel pain in your limbs, it relays that pain signal to your brain. That kind of goes haywire. And then your brain like short circuits and you can feel pain out of nowhere with no stimulus. Worst part, it is, it is so challenging to treat. Not only is this diagnosis misidentified, but it can be incredibly hard to treat. I remember that my mom was in pain for years before we finally got it controlled. First line medications are drugs like gabapentin or Lyrica, which are neuromodulating medications. Cymbalta and amitriptyline are other options. Pain medicines like tramadol, cannabinoids. In refractory cases, sometimes intrathecal medications like baclofen, clonidine, opioids can be beneficial. And in my mom's case, it ended up being an intrathecal pre that made all the difference. I mean, she has a pump that constantly infuses medications 24-7 into her spinal fluid to keep those nerves calmed down. There are other non-pharmaceutical things like physical therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, biofeedback. Even nowadays, spinal cord stimulation has been used to treat this in patients with spinal cord injuries. So many of you guys tagged me in this video and I want to shed a little bit of light on this often misdiagnosed condition in spinal cord injury because these patients have my heart and they are warriors. The creator of this video, I hope your brother finds some answers.